Okay, I'm gonna explain this in the simplest terms because when I was first learning about this, I didn't really understand it. So if I oversimplify it, just know I'm a simple guy and that's why. So a question I see a lot on the internet is, what do I need to put a V8 in my truck that had an, an inline six? Now, this applies to 60 to 66 Chevys and GMCs. It may apply to earlier and later, I really don't know. I would think so, but I'm, I'm not 100% on that. At any rate, these here are factory inline six 230 uh, purchase motor mounts. We just reuse them for the V8. These three holes here mount right to the side of the, of the Chevy V8. In my case, 350. I had a 350 in here yesterday, and I'll have a 350 in here tomorrow. Uh, you hear guys talk a lot about moving, relocating the motor mounts to the front two holes. These are the holes they're referring to. So this is the rear setup, stock setup. That's how it came. And this, these are the front ones. Now, why would you want to move that to the front? Well, there's a couple reasons. First reason is to move your, your engine forward. Now, an inline six is longer because it's six cylinders in parallel versus a V8, which is four on each side. So it would actually move your engine closer to the radiator, help it cool. That's good. That's a bonus. Another bonus would be pulling your distributor up off the firewall because most of us want to run HEI, uh, do away with the points. So if you do, that distributor is bigger. And you can see here where mine made, made contact, kind of just cleaned the dirt off, didn't touch the paint. I believe that's from installation and removal. I don't think it's touching when it's actually installed. The transmission is another issue altogether. So this is a factory three speed. Now on these trucks, you see that cross member there? That's basically the rear engine support as well because the engine bolts to that transmission bell housing and that bell housing bolts to that cross member. There's a bolt goes in here from underneath and a bolt goes in here from underneath. That's what supports it. The transmission itself bolts in those four holes and just hangs off the back. So your starter is gonna mount onto the bell housing itself. Unlike a typical small box Chevy where you got those two bolts at the bottom, you're gonna use these three and there's your starter, one, two, three. And that starter is also from the inline six. Also, you're gonna use the flywheel from the inline six. It bolts to the Chevy 350 as well. So you're gonna use the flywheel that you have. You're gonna use the starter that you have. You're gonna use the clutch that you have. You're gonna use the bell housing that you have, the clutch fork that you have, the Z bar that you have, and all the linkage. The one thing you need to, to swap over is the ball that mounts on the engine side, about right here, and it, it runs to the Z bar. So it, it, it's someplace for the, for the Z bar to rotate on. That's, that's this guy here, right? It mounts right there. So yeah, you'll have to, you'll have to get that ball. Every place sells them 15 bucks or something, 10 bucks. They're not a lot of money. So to answer your question from the back, not a lot changes. Um, your engine's gonna mount to that bell housing. You're gonna reuse your starter, gonna reuse your flywheel, you're gonna reuse your clutch, all your linkage. You're gonna swap that ball over and you'll be golden there. Up here, you're gonna reuse these mounts if you're gonna leave that in the stock position and you'll be golden up front you might want to update your your radiator if you have a 230 or 235 even a 250 it's a good idea to get yourself a radiator from a 292 it has no problem keeping up with a 350. i got one off rock auto dirt cheap um, being brand new it flows real nice of course so no problems there um, if you want to swap out to an automatic say a th350 th400 700 r4 200 r4 whatever that cross member's got to come out. You have to put in a new cross member. You can use one out of a square body. A lot of guys use them. Um, and of course, your starter will change. You'll have to get uh, um, 
you know, uh, your, your ring gear and all that good stuff. You'll have to run some tranny lines to a transmission cooler or get a radiator from an automatic, whatever, however you decide to, to work that. But for myself, I just run a three speed, the factory one, I find it real simple to just do it this way. Um, I hope that helps. So motor mounts, reuse them. Transmission bell housing, reuse it. Starter, reuse it. Flywheel, reuse it. Clutch, all the rest of it, reuse it. Radiator, upgrade it. It's a good idea. And uh, have some fun.